In this lesson, we will discuss pneumatic system uses, pneumatic system sources, bleed monitoring computers, BMCs, crossbleed duct, pneumatic system switch locations, and the ECAM bleed page. The pneumatic system supplies high pressure air for the air conditioning system, engine starting, wing anti icing, water system pressurization, hydraulic reservoir pressurization, and aft forward cargo heating if installed. The three sources of high pressure air for the pneumatic system are engine bleed, APU bleed, and high pressure ground connection. Two bleed monitoring computers, BMC1, and BMC2, the overhead air condition panel, and the ECAM bleed page control and monitor the pneumatic system. A cross bleed duct interconnects the engine bleed systems and receives air from the APU and a ground source. The pneumatic system switches located on the overhead air conditioning panel include the engine 1 and engine 2 bleed push button switches, the APU bleed push button switch, and the cross bleed selector switch. The ECAM bleed page can be selected by pressing the bleed push button on the ECAM control panel or is automatically displayed in the event of a pneumatic system fault. The ECAM bleed page displays information on bleed air valve position, temperature and pressure of engine bleed air, bleed air sources and systems supplied. In this lesson, we will discuss the engine bleed system, engine bleed valve, high pressure valve, cross bleed valve, engine bleed push button switch, indications, and the ECAM bleed page. There are two similar engine bleed systems, one for each engine. Each system selects the compressor stage to be used as a source of bleed air and regulates the bleed air temperature and pressure. Acting as a shutoff and pressure regulating valve, the engine bleed valves open pneumatically when engine bleed pressure above 8 psi is detected and the APU bleed valve is closed. Normally, the intermediate pressure stage supplies air to the pneumatic system. When pressure drops due to low engine speed, for example, the high pressure valve opens to maintain a pressure of 32 to 40 psi. A pre cooler uses engine fan air to cool and limit the temperature of the engine bleed air to 200 degrees Celsius. The fan air valve is pneumatically operated. The two engine bleed systems can be isolated or interconnected by the cross bleed valve through the cross bleed duct. The engine bleed push button switches are normally in the on lights out position. The engine bleed valve will open if engine bleed pressure is greater than 8 pounds per square inch, the APU bleed push button switch is off, or the APU bleed valve is closed. There is no on side wing or pylon leaks and no overpressure or over temperature has been detected, the engine fire push button switch is in and the engine start valve is closed. When the engine bleed push button switch is selected off, the engine bleed valve will close and if open, the high pressure valve will close. The engine bleed push button switch will show fault with the associated ECAM warning if there is a bleed over pressure, a bleed over heat, a wing or pylon pneumatic leak, or if the engine bleed valve is not closed either during engine start or if the APU bleed push button switch is selected on. When the fault condition returns to a temperature or pressure below the maximum and the engine bleed push button switch is left on, the fault light will remain illuminated. If the engine bleed push button switch is switched off, the fault light will go out. Touch the engine 1 bleed push button switch to turn it off.
BMCs 1 and 2 supply information to the ECAM bleed page. When a fault is detected in the pneumatic system, the bleed page is automatically displayed on the lower ECAM display. Engine bleed valve position is displayed on the ECAM bleed page. The normal open or closed positions are displayed in green. When displayed in amber, it indicates a disagreement between the valve position and the BMC commanded position. The HP valve indication is green when it is in its commanded position and amber when it is not. The engine bleed's pre-cooler inlet pressure is displayed in green if within normal range. If the pressure is below or above the normal range, it is displayed in amber. The engine bleed temperature is measured at the pre-cooler outlet. It is normally green unless the BMC detects low temperature or an overheat condition, then it will be displayed in amber. In this lesson, we will discuss the APU bleed system, APU bleed valve, APU bleed push button switch, and ECAM bleed page. The APU load compressor supplies bleed air to the pneumatic system. The APU bleed valve only operates as a shutoff valve. The load compressor regulates the bleed pressure. The APU bleed push button switch is located on the overhead air conditioning panel. It controls the APU bleed valve. With the APU bleed push button switch selected on, the APU bleed valve opens if the APU speed is greater than 95%. With the push button switch in the off position, the APU bleed valve is closed. A fault light indicates an APU bleed leak has been detected and the associated ECAM caution appears. When the fault condition returns to a temperature below the maximum and the APU bleed push button switch is on, the fault light will remain illuminated. If the APU bleed push button is switched off, the fault light will go out. The APU bleed valve appears in green on the ECAM bleed page when the APU master switch is on. The cross line indication means that the valve is closed or not fully open. The inline indication means that the valve is fully open. The valve is shown cross line amber when the APU valve is fully closed with the APU master switch is on and the APU bleed switch has been on for more than 10 seconds. The conditions for the APU bleed valve to open are that the APU must be operating at normal speed, there is no leak detected, and the APU bleed push button switch is on. In this lesson, we will discuss the bleed monitoring computers, BMCs, and ECAM. One bleed monitoring computer controls and monitors one side of the bleed air system. Normally, BMC1 controls the left side and BMC2 the right. If one BMC fails, the other BMC takes over most of the monitoring functions of the failed one. Each BMC receives information from the bleed system including system bleed pressure and temperature and valve position. Each BMC is connected to other systems needing information about the bleed system and to the other BMC. The two BMCs also supply information and warnings to the ECAM. In this lesson, we will discuss the cross bleed valve, cross bleed selector switch, and ECAM bleed page. The cross bleed valve 
allows the two sides of the pneumatic system to be isolated or interconnected through the crossbleed duct. It is normally closed when the engines are running, isolating the two sides of the pneumatic system. The crossbleed selector switch is found on the overhead air conditioning panel. The switch has three positions, auto, shut, and open. With the crossbleed selector switch in auto, the APU running and the APU bleed push button switch on, the APU bleed valve and crossbleed valve will open. Both engine bleed valves will close. If the APU bleed push button switch is selected off, both the APU bleed valve and cross bleed valve will close. The engine bleed valves will open if the engines are running and the engine bleed push button switches are on. Selecting the cross bleed selector switch to the shut position will close the cross bleed valve. Selecting the cross bleed selector switch to open will open the cross bleed valve. The ECAM bleed page will display the crossbleed valve in green when normally open or closed. The crossbleed valve will be amber if in transit or not in the commanded position. The crossbleed duct is not displayed when the crossbleed valve is closed and displayed in green when the crossbleed valve is open. Touch the crossbleed selector switch to open the crossbleed valve. In this lesson, we will discuss leak detection loop locations, pylon and APU duct loops, wing loops, and leak warning indications. Leak detection loops are located in the fuselage, pylons, wings, and along the APU duct. They detect overheating from leaks in the vicinity of the hot air ducts. The two engine pylons and APU bleed air duct have single detection loops. Double leak detection loops are installed along the pneumatic ducts in each wing. When two wing loops detect a leak, or when one loop detects a leak and the other loop is inoperative, they activate a wing leak signal. A pylon leak illuminates the associated engine bleed push button switch fault light located on the air conditioning panel. As well, the associated engine bleed valve and cross bleed valve will close automatically. If the leak is detected during engine start, the cross bleed valve will remain open. A leak in the wing area will illuminate the associated engine bleed push button switch fault light. The associated engine bleed valve and cross bleed valve will close. If the leak is detected in the left wing, the APU bleed valve will close, except during engine start. A leak detected in the APU bleed duct will illuminate the APU bleed push button switch fault light. If open, the APU bleed valve and cross bleed valve will close, except during engine start. In this lesson, we will discuss cockpit geographic check, engine start, external air start, cross bleed start, and after start. During the cockpit geographic check, check that the engine one bleed push button switch lights are extinguished, indicating the switch is on. The APU bleed push button switch light will be illuminated if the APU is supplying pneumatics. Next, Check that the cross bleed selector switch is in auto and the engine 2 bleed push button switch lights are extinguished. The APU is the normal pneumatic source for engine starting. Touch the APU bleed push button switch to open the APU bleed valve, allowing pneumatic pressure to the engines. With the APU running, and the APU bleed push button switch selected on, 
the blue on light will illuminate. If there are no pneumatic leaks detected, the APU bleed valve will open as displayed on the ECAM bleed page. Next, the cross bleed duct will appear with the cross bleed valve opening. At the bottom of the bleed page, pneumatic pressure will be indicated at the engines with the engine bleed valves closed. Engine start procedures will be covered in the power plant module. With the APU unserviceable, the procedure is to start engine number two first using external ground pneumatics. This is due to the external air connector being on the left side of the aircraft near the danger area of engine number one. On the ground only, the green ground air symbol is always displayed on the ECAM bleed page regardless of any ground connection or pressure. With an external pneumatic source connected and supplying pressure, the ECAM bleed page will display the left cross bleed duct and pressure at the number one engine. Ensure the engine bleed switches are selected off, then to provide pneumatic pressure to engine number two, touch the cross bleed selector switch to open the cross bleed valve. Now, there is pneumatic pressure to engine number two for starting. Complete coverage of external air starting is found in Supplementary Procedures, Engine Start with External Pneumatic Power Procedure. After engine number two is started by ground pneumatics, the procedure is to start engine number one by cross bleed start after all ground equipment is removed. As covered by the cross bleed engine start procedure, engine two bleed push button switch is on to allow engine number two to pressurize the pneumatic system. The engine one bleed push button switch is off to eliminate reverse flow leakage. The cross bleed selector switch, if not open, is selected to open, allowing pneumatic pressure to engine number one. With both engines running, the engine bleed push button switches on, the cross bleed selector switch in auto, and the APU shut down, the pneumatic system will be in the normal engine supply configuration. In this lesson, we will discuss the following ECAM messages. Engine 1 bleed fault, APU bleed fault, left wing leak, and APU bleed leak. If engine bleed pressure or temperature reaches the set limits, the engine bleed fault is triggered. A single chime will sound, master caution, ECAM bleed page, and engine bleed fault light will be displayed. With this condition, the engine bleed valve will close automatically, and if open, the high pressure valve will close. The only ECAM action to complete is the cross bleed selector switch to open. This will allow both packs to be run from one engine bleed. If wing anti-ice was on or is required, the affected pack must be switched off. Touch the cross bleed selector switch to complete the ECAM actions. With the APU running and the APU bleed valve not in the commanded position, the air APU bleed fault will be displayed. This is a crew awareness fault with no ECAM actions to complete. If a leak is detected by the left wing detection loop, the related engine bleed valve will automatically close. If open, the APU bleed valve and the cross bleed valve will also automatically close, except during engine start. As indicated on the upper ECAM, if on, the wing anti-ice must be selected off and icing conditions avoided. If a leak is detected by the APU leak detection loop, the APU bleed valve and cross bleed valve will automatically close, except during engine start. The upper ECAM 
will only display Air APU bleed leak as there are no crew actions required. If the leak was detected during engine start, then an ECAM action will request the APU bleed turned off.